Hey friends, it's a pretty confusing time right now in the world. In the baseball season this year, the Cardinals and the Royals are currently undefeated. And hilariously enough, the Chicago Cubs and the White Sox have yet to win a game. It's a confusing time that we live in. But there are other confusing things in this world too. Like what is God's will for our life? And how is God's will done on earth as it is in heaven? So stick around and we'll chat about it. So welcome back to Coffee and Catechism, where we combine two of my favorite things here on Lofty Thoughts, drinking coffee and talking about the catechism. Pretty sweet cup. So today we're going to ask three questions while looking at the third petition of the Lord's Prayer. What is the will of God? How is the God's will done? And why do we pray thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven? In John 6, verse 40, Jesus says, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Paul tells Timothy that God desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that truth is Jesus Christ. Paul also tells the Thessalonians that their sanctification, which is their being made holy, is the will of God. This petition relates really closely to the first two petitions of the Lord's Prayer, and that's that God's name be hallowed and that his kingdom comes. So if God's will is that we be saved, how is it done? Well, Luther says that God's will is done when he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, which do not want us to hallow God's name or to let his kingdom come. But God's will is also done when God strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and faith until we die. So why do we pray this petition? Well, just like the first two petitions, the good and gracious will of God is done even without our prayer. But we pray in this petition that it may be done among us also. In this context, God's will for our life is that we know him and have faith in his son, Jesus, and know his promises. God has made to us all of these promises and in response that we obey his commandments. We are to be strengthened in the hearing of God's word as we pray his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So with that, I say keep on praying, keep drinking coffee, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.